Well, this is what I was planning on working on today. I was planning on covering a lot of this up. This is a cold wax painting, and it's been sitting in my basement studio at home for at least a year. And it just does absolutely nothing for me. But my daughter just walked in and, and she says, oh my word, mom, I love that. It's so soft and sweet and subtle. She says, don't you dare cover that up. But guess what? I'm going to. It just doesn't do anything for me and it has to do something for me. And I'll give you some close-ups of it. This is what it looks like. It has some subtleties. There's many, many layers on here, as you can see. Um, so I am going to cover it up. At least parts of it. So that's what it looks like. And what? And I'm going to lay it on my table and work on it that way. Because uh, it'll be easier for me to work on flat than standing up. So... And I'm going to use uh, the same palette that I used before uh, the last two paintings. I still have a lot of that cold wax left. It's various degrees of blues, various uh, shades of, of values of blues and of purples. But I think I'm going to add some pink and orange because you can see there's a lot of orange in that too. I think you can see that but it's kind of like a magenta and with a coral on top. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I hope I don't mess it up. We'll see. So hold on. Okay, here are some of the colors that I have added. This is my palette from yesterday. That is Lagoon Blue and Purple with uh, various shades of gray and white into it and then I have white to black and various shades of gray uh, values. And in this one, I'm taping, so I'm not talking to myself. It's okay. <laughs> it's beautiful here. Thank you. And in this one is, um, that is uh, uh, red orange permanent. And then we have a pink, we have white, we have warm white, and here is magenta, Quinn magenta, and, and this pile of the Quinn magenta, I added orange and white to it. Here's another kind of a purplish color. It's not showing up purple in the video, but it is purple. Then we have pink, and in this pile here is that same pink with some light gray into it. It's not showing up uh, lavender, but it is more of a lavender tint. Then we have another shade of pink, and to this pink, I added a little bit of orange to it, so it would be more coral. And I'll probably add a little bit more white to that in, at times, too. So that is all of these colors, warm colors, are the colors that I'm using along with the colors from yesterday and the day before. So that's my palette. Okay, I've decided to do it on the wall because I don't have enough, it's too large to put on the table and for me to get the right angle. So I'm gonna to try to do this on the wall. And uh, what I have done, first of all, is I have taped the edges with blue tape so I don't mess it up. And then what I have done is I have put a very thick coat of clear cold wax on top of it. And what that will do is soften what's underneath it because this has been sitting in my basement studio probably for a year and it's hard as a rock and I want it to be softer. So what I did is I, if you put a layer of cold wax on top of it and let it sit for a while, it will soften that, those uh, top layers a little bit. So that is what I have done. And I did that about an hour ago. So uh, hopefully it'll be soft enough. So we will see. And I don't know if I'm going to drastically change this or just a little bit, but I know I'm, I'm just not happy with it the way it is now. And I'm going to use uh, my brayer and my palette knife as well. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So here we go. And 
this color is warm white. I'm putting it all over. Just about all over. You can see a lot of areas it's not taking it, and that's fine. And I don't want to get in your way. I'm not charging my brayer because I want it to be kind of sporadic here and there. Picked up some blue somewhere along the line. Hello. You're more than welcome to look around. Have you ever been in here before? I'm not sure that I have. Well, there's three of us in here, myself, my husband, and my daughter. I'm kind of enjoying the subtleness of this. Uh, you can't, there's a lot of light shining on this from there, so you, you're getting a lot of glare. Um, but I, I'm liking the subtleness. Now what I'm going to do with the oiler boiler, I'm going to use some drips. Hi. Hello. And this is the oiler boiler, and I'm just going to drip it. And now I'm going to pull it. And I didn't have to wait too long because it's, uh, this is very wet now. And I don't know if we're going to see, oh yes, we can see some things going on there. I hope you can see that. Okay, I am going to correct some of this in here. I'm not liking all of that, so I am going to take some of that up. So I'm going to take the brayer over that again. I don't like I don't like this. Just take the brayer over parts of it. That will push some of that back, as you can see. much came off from, from my liking. Too much. So we'll push it, push it back and that again I'm using warm white. This is kind of a different color. It's kind of a pinkish color, pinkish purple. And I do like that down there. It just is a little different than the rest of it. This is more lavender. I think it's just too, it's The 
just lightly going over it now, just lightly touching that texture. I'm liking that. I've decided that this piece is going to be more subtle than most of my, most of my pieces have a lot of color, and very bold, but I want this one to be a little different. I don't know what that is. you're wondering what I'm doing. I, just want, I don't want it all to be the same. I'm adding color here and there. Then I'm going to take the white again over it and then I'm going to do it the oiler boiler again. Just barely rolling it on. See, I'm not. I'm taking my brayer in many different directions. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, sweetie pie. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome to walk around. I almost never do white paintings, but it looks like this is turning into a white painting. Now, do I want to add any more color into that? I don't know if I do or not. I'll do a little bit. If I don't like it, I'll cover it up. I have put some of the coral and some of the pink onto my brayer. Woo! I'm liking that. Again, some coral and some gray. I mean coral and some pink. Wow, that is very, very soft for me. Normally don't do anything this soft.
is very interesting for me. If I'm gonna like this, I'm putting some brighter orange into it. Don't think I like that. Well, maybe I do. Kind of being wishy-washy here. I'm going to take some warm white over the whole thing, I think. Why did I think you were going home? What do you think about this so See, far? I told you I love it. I'm so glad you didn't cover it up. I've covered the entire thing. Well, you still have a lot of that pretty orange peeking through. Well, I, I just you need put some, that on. Need some more. Put some blue in it. Or more of that green. There's put no, like a copperish green. Like I, the, I don't have any green in there. It's purple that's showing through. What's this right here? It's kind of... That's green. No, that that it's, green. It's, 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 it's this color right here. It's coming through as green. It's beautiful. I need, we need more of that. I need some more of that. Okay. Very, very lightly touching. I, I think that I'm going to just keep it soft. And then I'm, I am going to do some stuff down here yet. We'll put a little bit of that purple right in here. I mean, this is so delicate for me. But it's nice for, it's nice for a change. You know, we can't always do the same thing all the time. Okay, I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to turn the video off, turn it off, and lay it on the floor and do a little bit of the oiler boiler, and then I will be back and put it back up again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it off, do a little bit of oiler boiler so it's laying flat, and then okay, uh, I'm going to pull we'll it again. Only one I don't like is right here. I can take that away. Which, what, when you use your oiler boiler, by the way, after you've finished, if the wax gets in this point it will clog it up so what you should do is after you finish using it is just squirt a little bit on your paper towel to make sure that that point is unclogged I'm going to let that sit for a minute and then I'm going to take white again over this area and um, I'm going to put uh, a little bit of line work in it with my skewer I might take my palette knife over this area a little bit. I haven't decided yet.
You can come in if you want. You bet. Have a good day. I'm starting to fool around too much now. this dry and then I'm going to take white over it. I'm, to, I'm putting this on fairly thick because I am going to let it sit for about three days. And I'm going to take some white over it. a little bit of that down here so this is this will be picked up by the white as well I've just changed my mind on the whole thing I said, I'm going to be picking up white. I'm going to be putting white on that. 
want a little bit of depth to it. doing fine and how are you doing? I am doing well. You're amazing. Thank you. I never got that talent. How do you know you don't have? Stick figures are hard for me. Pardon me? Stick figures are hard for me. For me too. I'm going to give it a little bit of depth. This has really changed, hasn't it? It's changing big time. There's a little bit of structure in here. I don't know if you can see it or not or notice it. Now here you can see there's kind of a structure going on there. My question is, do I want to bring a circle around that way? I think so. Just go ahead and look around a little bit. I'm glad we stopped in. I'm glad you did too. And all of the large paintings out in the hallway are mine. Okay. Yeah, I was checking. Please just let me know. Will do. Yeah, I want to share lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this sit for about three days and then I'm going to put another layer on top of it. I really like where it's going now. I didn't before, but now I do. So you never know with me. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.